I'm on my way to meet William Sangsmith, an 85-year-old retired fax machine repairman. William is a humble man resigned to live out his winter years in quiet reflection. However, there's more to William than meets the eye. He holds the record for the world's longest wait. The previous record was held by Ken Nakamura, who was reunited with his father after being separated for 65 years following the bombing of Hiroshima. As for William, he's been waiting for his wife Elizabeth to return home. Maybe today we'll find out what happened. Yeah, I was about uh, 20. Not long after our wedding, actually, we were, um, we were listening to the crickets and I asked if she could um, fetch a sarsaparilla from the corner store. <clears throat> I love sarsaparilla. <laughs> Haven't had one since I was 20, though. Because <sighs> I, I can't up and get one and she comes home with my sarsaparilla and and then I have two whole sarsaparilla and I know her. <laughs> She'll be all, ooh, couldn't wait, could we? <laughs> so you see my predicament. Aside from the sarsaparilla, how has waiting 65 years been hard for you? <sighs> oh, it's been very hard. I mean, uh... I've tried other drinks. Root beer's okay, but oh, it reminded me too much of... Uh, Elizabeth. Sarsaparilla. I just couldn't stand to drink it in the end. I mean, there's always whiskey. <laughs> and uh, as the years march on, I've found it, it dulls the pain of... Losing Elizabeth. Damn arthritis. <laughs> And you haven't seen or heard from Elizabeth this whole time? No. No, nothing. I stand by the window all day waiting... ..waiting for her to come home... ..with my sarsaparilla. William, has it ever occurred to you that... ..she isn't coming home? Why would you say that? On the surface, he appears to have handled the situation well. But as strong as William is, I fear he might struggle with the reality of what really happened to Elizabeth. Do you think the graves and shit are misleading? This is Elizabeth Sandsmith, nay, Gormley. She tells me she still intends to return to William one day. I still have the bottle. I keep it there to remind me of my dear Willie. I was going to bring it straight back to him after I bought it, but it started raining and I'd forgotten my brolly. Frank from the corner store gave me a lift, but his car broke down. <laughs> Luckily, it was in the driveway to his place. We went inside to shelter from the rain and I've been here ever since. But that was over 60 years ago. Why didn't you reach out to William? Oh, I meant to that day. But Frank said that his phone was at the mechanics. Then Frank twisted his ankle because I had to mind the shop for a few months until his ankle was better. <laughs> Don't you feel bad for William? If you wanted to, you could go back to him today. Oh. <laughs> so long. I'm sure he can hang on another day or two. I'll pop by tomorrow. Oh, wait, that's no good. I've got drinks with the girls. But definitely Saturday. Oh, although Sunday would be more fitting. That way we can finish listening to the cricket together. Oh, I'm knitting a green sweater that I want Frank to wear to the Lions Club meeting on Monday, so Sunday's no good either. Can't leave things half done. Does Frank still run the corner store? Oh, no, he retired ages ago. No, Frank Jr. runs the shop now. Frank? Jr. Frank's son? Yes. And your son? Mm-hmm. Together?
Elizabeth, do you even like sarsaparilla? Oh, yes, yes, it's fine. Do you fancy a glass? Frank, well, old corner store Frank. Apparently she's been at Frank's this whole time. Well, we were like best friends. Surely he'd mention a, a sort of thing like my wife and Sarsaparilla living with him all this time. That swine. I would never patronise his store again if, if that son of his wasn't such a gentleman. William, did it ever occur to you that she hated sarsaparilla? <laughs> of course she didn't hate it. I would give her a glass of sarsaparilla after every time we made love. She would take it into the kitchen to polish it off because she thought it was uncouth to drink it in the bedroom. Really? Well, I bet you wouldn't drink sarsaparilla in the bedroom either. She still has your sarsaparilla. She keeps it on a stand by the door, still unopened. Oh. Did she say when she was going to bring it over? She said she was busy this weekend, but maybe next week. Uh, or after Christmas. But because that's so close to your birthday, you better make it February. February. I've got something for you. It's your brand. They haven't changed the recipe. Couldn't wait 